Hello everyone. Hello. And welcome to our video on May new launches for men this time. Mm -hmm. um, and we've got three to show you and they're all kind of line extensions today. That's true. Yeah. And they're things that kind of have an existence in some form already. Yes. Um, but have been maybe reworked mm. or rethought by a different perfumer. Okay. So, shall we, you start with this Yes. Then. Okay. Oh, it's behind me. Yeah. So first of all is one from Izzy Mayaki. Um, this is called Nuit de Se Bleu Astral. So I'll give you a good look at the bottle there because basically what they've done is the standard Nuit de Se is in black, mm -hmm. um, but here they've put it in a kind of, well it's meant to look like the night sky, a kind of glowing like blue, blue, blue exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's nice. Like yeah, color. and it's nice the texture across the bottle as well, yeah. the strokes. Um, is meant to represent the shooting stars across the oh. sky. Yeah, like so, astral is like astrology, I guess. Yes, okay. yeah, so it's like, uh, yeah, it's a night sky, mm. basically. Um, so if you know the original um, Nuit de Say fragrances, there's an eau de toilette and a parfum. Mm -hmm. They're quite leathery. Um, that's the, yeah, that's actually, the bottle. Yeah, so black, more black. Yeah, yeah. more black, definitely. That's and um, yeah, the smell of them is um, quite, like I say, quite leathery. The parfum is actually quite gourmand yeah. almost it has some vanilla notes um mm. in it this is different this is brighter mm. so let's have a try get the lid <laughs> off <laughs> i'm gonna go on my arm seeing as a, it's the first one what i've actually done is spray i sprayed all three um, uh -huh. just before we started filming and i've got um astral on this one yeah i mean to see how it develops just from spraying that you can tell mm -hmm. straight away that it is brighter, mm -hmm. a kind of a little sharper, yeah. like a star, really. Yeah. It's cheesy, um, but you can really kind smell of the lime. it's lime, yeah. It's so the lime's lime. like really, yeah. you know, um, sharp through yeah. the top. Um, and, well, I can smell that just from you spraying. Yeah, it, but the lime um, on here on goes it, yeah. quite quickly because yeah. citrus notes they evaporate quick and they don't stay on the skin very mm. long. So I probably sprayed this about half an hour yeah. ago, and, and already it's developed into something much more spicy and mm. peppery and, mm. and woody. Mm. But yeah, the lime is really acidic. Mm. Um, what there also is in here is something called Chantienne, oh, yes. um, which is, I don't know if we've talked about it really before, but it's um, we have. a plant yeah. and they use the root of the plant, like the rhizome, so it's a dried root mm. which is ground down. I don't um, think it's used that often. It's not used that no. often, no. It's used a lot in drinks, like in alcohol. Yeah, in Aperol, yeah, yeah, so, Aperol spritz. Yeah, spritz, yeah, yeah. Aperol spritz in mm. bitters mm. Um, that you would put in like cocktails mm. or whatever, made from... Um, uh, Chantien, so it has a very bitter, it's, it is bitter, dry. That comes smell across to it. as well on the yeah. dry down, even though that that sharp brightness has gone, that bitterness yeah. still remains. Mm. And it's quite different from the other two. It's very different, isn't it? It's not, not as kind original. of smoky. No. Yeah, this is very smoky compared and, to this. And this one, this is a parfum, and the parfum even more like burnt. Mm. Yes, and you can smell like the sweetness mm. of kind of tonkery, vanilla y mm. Yeah. yeah, I really like this Astral actually. It's really, I like the contrast. Um, in it. Yeah, mm. it's it's bright and also dark at the same time. So it does also have some vetiver in the dry down, and it has some leather to tie mm. it in in that mm. Nuit say family. But it's much brighter, but it still has that kind of oomph to it. So um, yeah. yeah, give that a go if you want. It's not a limited edition. It's a catalogue line, so it should be around um, for a while for you to go and try. Okay, excellent. All right then. Next so I've got up, that one back to you. you. Um, so I have uh, Narcisa Rodriguez, um, another one in the For Him range. Yeah. Now actually this isn't brand brand new because it was launched abroad. That's um, true. I think last year perhaps and yeah. now it's come to the UK. And it's this one here, it's called Narciso For Him Blue Noir. Um, we've got a lot of blue, blue. I was just saying, I going think, um, on. This Bleu is, de Chanel has a lot yeah, to ask for definitely. with things being called Bleu. This well, blue and white, blue black, right? Yeah. So, yeah. and um, is when Narcissa was interviewed about this fragrance, he was talking about that, that color of sort of dark ink, Inky like color, an ink yeah. spot, which is sort of not quite black, a sort mm. of blue black, um, and you can see that reflected in the bottle. I love the Narcisso bottles. This painted on the inside idea mm. that Narcisso started off back in two thousand and three, I think yeah. it was, with for her. I think is just genius because it really remains mysterious what's inside the bottle. Mm. Um, annoying because you can't see what's, yeah. like, how much juice is left. However, I just think the bottle looks yeah, really, really sophisticated. Nice, yeah. 
Um, and I re I've been wearing this. I really, really like this fragrance. Um, it's Thank you. It's a really beautiful combination of spicy notes mm -hmm. and things like cardamom are in yes, there. Yes, I was going to say, I can Nutmeg smell that. Nutmeg is in there Straight and that away. really comes across. Combined with woody notes, a mm. sort of almost a gentle wood. Mm. Is, Not, it, is it kind of cedar wood? Yes. Yeah. It's, uh, they call it um, oh, ebony it's and cedar wood accord. So uh -huh. there's a, a, ebony being a, like a black wood, so yeah. that kind of goes with the name, and blue cedar. Yeah. And then um, they also have this lovely musk note that runs through all of Narcisso. All phrases. of them have the musk, yeah. don't they? Yeah. So that nice, that kind of sensual it's very, softness. Yeah, it's, it's sensual and soft, but it's very grown up at the it same is. time. I like the spices because mm. there's, there's not actually, I don't know, there's not a huge amount with that kind of fresh spice no. in it, the cardamom. No. And, Decoration by Cartier would be it's one. It's very similar to Actually, decoration. It is. It's mm. got that fresh spice cardamom mm. and then the mm. woods and the base. If you like that, you'd definitely like this. Yeah. It's, and again, it's very different from these other two. So yes. in the range, also, you have the original, um, just called For Him, mm -hmm. which is a, a beautiful, almost a, a sheep, uh, a fougere yeah. fragrance. Yeah. Um, with uh, a sort of violet leaf accord mm -hmm. and then you have the musk for him which is very similar it's just more of a I would say more of a silver tinge to that bottle yeah, it's kind of metallic isn't yeah it? and that's an eau de parfum version mm. um, now again done my little exercise of free spraying I love these original ones yeah well, so this original fragrance, this mm. one, which I want to say was launched in around 2006, yes, 2007 yes, time, yeah. um, I had an ex-boyfriend. Oh no. And I gave him a bottle of this. Oh no. And I'm afraid it does remind me of him, yeah. but I kind of don't care because I absolutely love the scent. On the skin, yeah. it's amazing. I think it's really underrated. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how it is around the world so much, but in this country, it's people don't know it that well. And it's lovely. It's I don't so see, nice. I, I don't know where he is now, <laughs> 10 <laughs> Maybe years he's later. Still wearing it. Maybe he's still wearing it, but <laughs> it is divine, I have to say. Yeah. yeah. The, the, this one is the Musk Intense. And you can really smell the musk intense, those floral notes coming mm. through because the, in the musk intense, this one. Oh gosh, it's very floral, it's very isn't it? It seems like orange blossom yeah, is in there, yeah. you know, um, rose is in mm. there, violet leaf. Yeah. So that's kind of a, a really nice twist on mm. it. Then you've got the original, which yeah. smells it, almost sort of a, a kind of mysterious type of mm. fougere. And then blue noir, which is quite yeah. spicy woody. Definitely the blue noir is spicier. Yeah. It, I would if say. If you had to describe, if you had to say fresh, spicier. Yes, yes. Yes, fresh spice, yeah. fresh spice because of the cardamom. Mm. And probably the most commercial of them all, I would say. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's nice to say. Great. Let's get rid of those. Um, <laughs> so, um, what have you got now? Oh, um, Mont Blanc. Oh, let me put that back up there. So now these are also catalogue lines. Yes. But Mont Blanc is a limited edition. Limited edition. Yeah. So this is the Ooh. new Ooh. Mont Blanc. Bling, bling bottle. Wow. Um, so this is called Mont Blanc Emblem Absolute. You'll know probably if you've watched our videos before, Mont Blanc Emblem, which is like this, you can see it behind me, but in black. Um, the reason for the name is that the, the whole inspiration for it and the bottle is based on the emblem of the brand, which is this white star, yeah. um, which I'm sure we've said before, but it's meant to look like you've got a bird's eye view on Mont Blanc, the mountain, and mm. the six valleys that go around it, um, which is quite a nice story, actually. Um, so the bottle is amazing. It's so kind of tactile I and the bottle. an we object. We um, this bottle in our bottle video. In our video. bottle video, yes. Yeah. Um, it doesn't say anywhere, like, I know visibly, doesn't. emblem absolute. Um, and then obviously you take the lid off like this, and then you've still got the star underneath there. Um, did we say this is a we said this is a limited, limited edition. edition limited mm. edition mm. although sometimes i mean i'm not uh, putting words into their mouth but sometimes if things do well they do continue them yeah, so you never know been, no. that has that's happened been, with limited edition yeah. before yeah. um so again i've done original on this one and oh sorry i've just sprayed that, that on there yeah, yeah. yeah that's cool Thank you. So let's um, smell. Is it an eau de parfum or an eau de yeah, toilette? I think it's eau de parfum. parfum. Oh no, it's eau de toilette. So it's eau de to that oh. would explain them. Because we were spraying them before 
And we were saying that actually, even though it's called Emblem Absolute, mm -hmm. it's not as heavy as you might think from the gold bottle and the Absolute no. name. Maybe that's because it's an eau de toilette as well. Um, I mean, it, it's got a punch to mm. it, definitely. But it's got quite a brightness and a freshness. Yeah, I mean, it's very... You can tell it's been made by a different perfumer. Yes, it so, is a different perfumer. Um, Sonia Constant made Emblem. Yeah. And, and she actually made um, Narciso Blue Noir as well. And, and actually, yeah, I haven't seen the similarity. Yeah, yeah. Um, this one was made by, I think, uh, um, Anique Minardo uh -huh. was making this. Yeah. So a different a different style. Mm. Um, it's got... Um, quite, it's quite it's, gentle. Yeah, I was going to say, it's got quite a lot of um, lavender mm. in the... So it's got that kind of aromatic, but quite soft, yeah. like I say, gentle aromatic. Um, I feel like there's some fruits in there as well, but yes. not, it's not sharp like grapefruit. It's, quite, it's, it's a little bit sweet almost. Yeah, it's more like sort of mandarin yeah. and pear notes in the mm. top. And then the dry down, you've got like vetiver. Mm. There is patchouli, but honestly, I don't smell the patchouli that much right now. No. Um, but it's, it's just... Um, it's very wearable. Yeah, that's actually. what I was going to say. Like it's, it's just very wearable. It's, it's got mm. a nice freshness to it, but it's still got some oomph to mm. it. Um, I don't. Yeah, I mean, actually, I would say if you want something more intense, go with the black one. Yes. Go with the, the yeah. original. But if you want something or emblem actually, intense or emblem intense, yes, yeah, yeah. emblem intense. Emblem right. intense, the silver one yeah. is really interesting because it's got this um, accord called pomerose in it. Yes. Remember? Yes. Um, which is almost like a sort of crisp baked apple. Baked apple. No, yeah. which is a really interesting note. I quite like that idea yeah. of something mm. quite creative by mm. a perfumer. Um, also, sorry, yeah. constant. Um, but yeah, and this smells has done well with this. It's, uh, I think actually it's smooth. Um, it smells a bit more kind of traditional to yeah. me. Like, yeah. you know, like, um, yeah, a good kind of classic men's mm. smell. Mm. And if you like gold? The bottle is perfect. Exactly. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's, that's a little roundup of um, three new ones for May. Um, we'll keep these videos coming on a regular basis to um, keep you up to date with what's new in our world. Um, thank you very much for watching, as always. Yes. yes. Um, do leave a comment. Please. And yeah. a thumbs up if you like. And we'll see you again next time. Bye. Bye.